Most of what I read and saw about the Re Mini i8 Plus wireless keyboard was positive and now I know why. I've truly come to enjoy using this little gem and I've included links in the description to GearBest.com where you can purchase one for yourself. The Mini i8 Plus is an upgraded version of the Mini i8, coming in smaller in size and weight. The Mini i8 was 5.6 inches long by 4.7 inches high and 1.1 inch thick and weighed about a half a pound. It also has a removable rechargeable battery in the back with the dongle. The i8 Plus is 5.7 inches long by 3.8 inches high and 0.7 inches thick with a non-removable rechargeable lithium ion battery. And you can see that with the dongle inside, the unit weighs 3.5 ounces. The on-off key is located on the back of the unit along with the mini USB port for charging. The Mini i8 Plus wireless keyboard is advertised as having a standby time of 20 days and my experience is that with intermittent use a charge will last for weeks. There's a small compartment on the bottom of the unit which provides a secure place for the wireless dongle. The keyboard has three indicator lights on it. The far right light is a yellow light that flashes while the unit is waiting to be paired. The far left blue light then comes on and stays solid to indicate a successful connection and it stays solid while in use. The middle light is a red light that stays solid to indicate the unit is charging and it goes off when the charge is complete. The keyboard has a mouse touchpad in the middle with instructions permanently written on it demonstrating how to left click, right click, and roll the mouse. In case you don't want to use the touch mouse pad, there are four additional mouse buttons. One on each side of the mouse pad and two additional ones on the left side of the keyboard. The keyboard also features video control keys of fast forward, rewind, play, and pause and volume control keys on the upper left hand side and up down left and right arrow keys and an OK or enter button on the upper right side. The unit features a full 92 key QWERTY keyboard with a blue function key for some options like home, end, F11, and F12. The ergonomic design of the keyboard is great. It's not much larger than a cell phone or a remote control and it feels sturdy in your hands. The sides of the back are textured which gives you a little grip while remaining comfortable. The keyboard makes thumb typing a snap and has a clicking sound when the keys are pressed. In addition, the same yellow light that flashes when waiting to connect lights up with every keystroke. The keys require a little pressure to deploy, but it's not difficult. It actually prevents accidental keystrokes. The keyboard goes into sleep mode after a few minutes of inactivity and can be woke up with a tap of a key. You cannot swipe the mouse to wake up the keyboard. If I turn off the lights, yeah, you can see that the keyboard also has a nice backlight feature and this makes it great to use in dark environments. There are four buttons on each side of the mouse pad which starting from the top left and going down are the video player button which will open your default media player, the backlight button for typing in dark environments, the mute button, and then the left mouse button. On the right side starting at the top we have the search button which will open the web and window search function in a program or start a web search in the browser window while online. The home button which will open a window which allows you to search your PC the internet browser button which will open a new window in your default browser and the right mouse button. All the programs and devices I've tested work, work seamlessly with the i8 Plus wireless keyboard. Movies played with VLC media player and Windows Movie and TV allowed play, pause, rewind, fast forward, and the volume buttons. And I could even use the arrow keys to highlight a control function and press the OK key to select. I even typed part of a blog post in Word 2016 using the keyboard. I wouldn't use it to do a bunch of typing, but it was easy to type a few sentences with it. I also used it with a movie that was being Chromecast to my TV. The rewind and fast, fo fast forward buttons didn't work, but they're not an option with Chromecast anyway. But I could use the play, pause, and the volume buttons. There are a few cons with the unit, but I think they're pretty minor. I found first of all that the lack of a shift key on the right side of the keyboard made for some awkward typing when you needed to capitalize certain words. The color of the function key is very dark and it's hard to read. 
It also doesn't light up when the backlight is on, so you can't even see it if you're typing in the dark. And finally, the quick access keys on the sides of the mouse pad are a little redundant. The home and the search functions are similar enough that one of them could have been replaced with something else, which would have made room for a shift key on the right side. Overall, however, I was really impressed with the Re Mini i8 Plus wireless keyboard. It was easily recognized by every device I used it with, it fits well in your hands, and it's solidly built. I have no problems at all recommending this keyboard. The description includes a link where you can purchase one on GearBest.com. The Re Mini i8 Plus is also available in different colors and can be found in other languages. Thanks for watching and please use the comments for any questions you may have and subscribe to our channel for more product reviews.